Hi, welcome back to Felsburg. It's our Let's Play. We uh, we harvested our soybeans over the night, and we've uh, recovered everything we cover crop. And we harvested our oats for our new set of horses, and we are on the way to sell our first load of uh, of soybeans. Uh, price is going down, so I just want to get rid of it quick. Uh, need the money. We do have him planting another field of oats over there somewhere. There he is. I think he screwed up on some spots, but we'll have to we'll have to go through and fix that. Man, it looks like there's a lot of soybeans out here right now. But uh, well, that's a lot of soybeans. That's why the price is going down. All the all the other farmers are growing them too. So there's a field of oats. Okay, but. Uh, that's our plan is we're going to get everything sold, get all of our soybeans sold. We have a, we don't really have enough oats to, to really fill our horse pen back up, but I think we have enough. And we have plenty of straw and we can get water. I put down a place of a water tank. Um, so I don't have to go to the pond every time. Didn't really have a good place for it. I just kind of slapped it in and it screwed up the terraforming a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is and it's not going to kill anything. Um. Let's get our, start getting our, our harvest sold here. We got just short of uh, 80,000 on the yield for the, uh, for the cash field here, for our soy field, uh, 80,000 uh, liters. So we, we should see the money, money should rock it up pretty good. Yeah, we're over 100,000. You know, the price isn't great, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, we may do a, a change up on the crops. Uh, after when this cover crop's done, we may do a change up on the big field just to hold it, or we could just stock it away in our in our silo because you know we have silos now. Uh, you know, for a long time we didn't have any silos, and that really really held us up. But uh, feel pretty good with it now. So we're uh, run back, get another load. Won't quite be a full load, but it'll be a good load. Hopefully, we'll make another hundred thousand or so. Um, I was really hoping to do some some more big expansion today, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we spent a little too much money. Uh, ran into a slight problem with our old pickup truck, but I'll show. I, I still love the old truck. We're going to keep it, but we're going to end up getting another one too. Um, it won't let me load the, uh, I didn't know it won't let me put the egg boxes in the back of it. They just kind of sit on top of it. Uh, I guess it's the way the hip boxes are. You can't really load stuff in the bed. Um, I didn't know that. You know, I played with the model a little bit, but I never, I didn't use it for that use. Uh, let's see, we got 37,000 left. Um, that's help with B. Yeah. Let's go sort this out real quick always has trouble around the end of these fields and I just I don't I don't get it there's plenty of damn room plenty of room it's just a little frustrating we have to can usually do it and we did screw up our harvester and uh, didn't get all these oats done but that little bit we're not gonna we're not gonna cry about so get this thing spun around and put into place yeah. Yeah. see that's why I leave it running even though I lift it up because when you catch the ground variations like that it'll hit the ground and it'll actually be uh, be seeding you know when it registers it's hitting the ground and it's working it's going to work okay let's run down here because they always mess up the end of the field here. This is hit by the trees, but you know, I don't, I don't know. I didn't extend. The, well, I'm extended a little bit. I didn't extend it all the way. But I feel like they, uh, the AI should do a little bit better job than this. You know, you know I felt like in previous versions they did a little better job. So you think with 19, they would really have the, uh, the AI workers 
better than what they are. It's slightly, slightly frustrating if they don't. Um, but either way, we'll get it straightened out and uh, taken care of. I'm not gonna worry about the little bitty pieces here and there. It's not. It's not worth the time to run back over them. So, help I didn't have that stupid sign in the way. Pull that thing out of the way a little bit. There we go. Let's fold this, uh, fold this thing up. We're done with it. We do have our, uh, our grass is ready to go over there. I guess, uh, it's been cut and it's been rowed. We just gotta get some bailing done just got to do a little more bailing see I was hoping to uh, get this filled but it's 290,000 we don't we're not gonna make the money for that we're not gonna have the money for that we're only uh, two days away from a big horse sale um, so I think with this uh, with this harvest we need to just kind of hang on to some of our money maybe uh, we want to uh, we want to really fill the uh, I want to fill the new horse pen up that way in you know a few more harvests we'll be able to sell a whole pen worth of horses fifty fifty thousand dollars would be 16 horses that'll be a a heck of a good payday um, and then eventually I'd like to take this field 21 here Isn't that 21? Yeah, 21, and uh, that is not what I wanted to do. Um, <clears throat> take 21, and it would be good to turn it into a uh, maybe a pasture. Maybe we'll put some cows out there and everything. So I really want to get into that. Um, I think 21, 22, that whole area right there would do really well with some cows. But we're going to have to make some serious bank to get that done, and I do mean serious bank. Um, I may even just run this through a little bit. Uh, may even just run a couple of run a couple of harvests and really bank up the money. Maybe pay my loan down. Um, you know, really run things on for a while and just kind of chew through it. Uh, you know, get on the grind wagon and really get a lot done. Uh, I'm thinking that's something we might need to do. I mean, we do really good each harvest, but we seem to spend as much as we make. Um, uh, you know, we will have all those horses coming up in a couple of days, and I want to just, today I just want to fill my horses up, uh, we'll, again, we'll sell our silage, another 97,000, awesome, uh, we need to do our silage bales, um, uh, that'll cover all of our operating costs so we don't lose any, it, that hurt us a little bit yesterday, not doing the silage, um, you know, it, it hurt us pretty, pretty good little bit there. Uh, I thought about just doing it so that whatever we do on silage, we just use that automatically to start paying our loan down. We got to get that loan down. I mean, we're at seven hundred thousand. If we get it paid off and we start making good money again, we can, you know, when it's time, hey, we want to buy this field and do a bunch to it. We can buy it, get the loan, buy it, and then make the money back on the field. Uh, and I think we're we're close to that point. Um, you know, maybe I should use all the horse money to do it. I don't know. You know, because I, re I really want to get the loan paid down, but I want to progress the series too. So, anyway, we got two hundred thirty thousand. I think it's time we need to uh, we need to get our new our new horses here. Um, here's the water tank. Like I said, I messed it up a little bit because I just kind of plopped it in and I didn't play with the height right. And yeah. My bad. Anyway, we're gonna pull up here and uh, drop from all these guys because see how many oats do we have in storage right now? Uh, I know it'll take sixty-four thousand to fill them up. We got forty-one. I feel like we have enough oats. We could uh, because where are we at right now? With large, let's see, we're looking good. Oats and hay wise, I need some straw. We'll do all that at one time. So, I think we need to go buy some horses. Lots of horses.
the lots, 16 of them. Uh, which one do we want? Which ones don't we have? We've had done. Let's get some paints. So. I don't want this one. Move that one back. I want it to be the same. Pen has reached capacity. We're going to spend $84,000. Oh, no, I didn't hit confirm. Dad, gum it. There we go. All right. So we have two horse paddocks now. And we need to jump over in our case. And we need to get them oats, and we need to get them hay, and we need to get them straw, and so. Now, we get just a little over 20,000 oats out of our uh, field 11 over there. So, I feel like we'll be able to catch up fairly well. You know, we... we we might even just do the big field on oats this time. I mean, the price of soybeans is uh, hasn't been great. Oats price isn't great either. But you know, we may just bite the bullet. I may just run a whole thing of oats. And let's just fill our storage up. And worry about it. You know, worry about it at a different time. So let's get our horses some oats. You know, I, I wish you could fill the uh, the paddocks to maximum capacity for however many you can have um, without the horses being in it. Because, you know, you, you think you'd have everything ready before you went and bought 16 horses. Uh, I just feel like I would. You know, you'd want to have everything together before you went and bought a whole bunch of horses. Uh, straw but not right now let's get all the hay I eventually would like to get all the horses in the other in the other paddock on the same run I mean I, I guess I guess it's nice to be able to sell them here and there you know you get a couple hundred thousand here a couple thousand there a couple thousand you know what I mean you know, being able to sell one whole paddock at one time is going to be going to be pretty awesome. One full load, and we have plenty of hay. We make loads, and loads of hay. Um, let's get the rest of the oats. You know, for this, I really probably need to get the big bags mod. Um, that uh, ups the, the big bag container size. You can buy them up to 10,000 uh, liters in one big bag. Uh, just for this. So, you know, we could buy oats to get these horses going. Uh, yeah. I think maybe we'll push the uh, we'll push the envelope on the uh, on the oats and maybe put them everywhere. Uh, this will get them over forty thousand. That should do should do for quite a while for them. And we can go ahead and just max the hay out. You know, we can give them all three loads of hay. That's not a big deal. And it's like it didn't empty all the way. It still has the little oak symbol, but it says zero, so hopefully it won't give us any trouble. You know, sometimes the combine does that too. It says zero, but still has the crop on it. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, we can load them down with hay and straw and water, and they'll just be a little behind on the oats, and we just need to do a lot more oat farming. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah. Maybe I should have bought another field to do oats on uh, instead of buying all the horses, but I think we can make it work. I don't know where we at here. How are we looking now? Yeah, we're at 41,000 oats. We're going to have a crap ton more hay go in. Let's see, these guys are two days away. Yeah, what is it? Fantasia Road, Cowboy, Watson, William, Bandit, Summer, Icarus. Okay. We've got quite a few of them that are not, that are not far away from being sold. They're doing really well. Um, some of these guys need water and straw. Hey. Yeah, I knew I had to just top their water off while I'm here. Yeah, I knew they had a uh, water trailer here attached on to the New Holland. But I was preparing for this. Now that's dumping. We'll, uh, we'll head over. It probably didn't fill it up. We'll probably have to get another load. Uh, let's get some straw. Both, both, uh, both horses need straw. Both paddocks. Yeah. So we'll uh, get our straw figured out here. Just grab a big load of it because we'll fill both pens up while we're over there. Chickens are going along fairly nicely. You know, I've spent a lot on them. I don't think I've, I haven't sold any egg boxes yet. You might have saw it when I tabbed over it, but I'll show you what I'm the problem I'm having with the truck, and then I'm gonna buy one of the one of the regular trucks uh, just to do what I what I want. But we're gonna keep the old Ford because I don't know about you know anywhere else, but normally here in the states, if you got a you know just about every farmer has got an old farm truck that they either have or have restored or had restored, you know, just a little nostalgia granddad's truck or something so I feel like we need the old F100 on the farm no. so we got all of our stuff in the ground and uh, well, our cover crops down oats are down on 11 may not be perfect but I know we get at least 20,000 you know over 20,000 off of the because uh, of a full cart 21,000 plus some off of the uh, why don't you fold up properly you know I think I will just leave this thing as oats and we'll just run oats on the big field with the uh, with the cover crop here and we'll and we'll go at it from there. Um, get there. Hey, there we go. Unload some more water. Yeah. All right, so everything can be pretty good for our second horse uh, paddock. We can top the water off. They're about half. They're over halfway on the straw. I think they'll be. I think we will be okay with that. I think we will. So get this thing filling up. Takes a minute or two. So now we're at a hundred and forty-five thousand. Here's our pickup truck. We got uh, five boxes, five full boxes of uh, eggs on there. I wonder what price for eggs are going for. Uh, 5600 at the grain mill. Let's go sell some eggs. I've got no clue how many liters we have or what we have. Let's go sell some eggs. Let's stretch the legs on our on our old Ford here. Cause man, it's got power and speed. It's even got the good suspension travel to it.
aren't you taking it? There we go. Well, our chickens have now made us a little bit of money. I'm not going to say they did any great deal of anything, but they've made us a little bit of money, so... I guess we'll be okay with it. We've got $150,000. And we got two days until our horses are ready. And I think I'm just going to, uh... I really wanted to buy field nine, but that's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And we're definitely keeping this old farm truck just because I like it. And I feel like it's a great addition to our farm. And we still need to have a lot of work we need to do around the farm here. Let's see your flex here. That's a good parking spot for an old truck. Flip around, finish watering the horses. That way we'll have everything in the good. But the uh, we've got more hay. We could we could go ahead and top their hay off. It's gonna bother people. We can go ahead and top the hay off. Um, let's see what were they at? Twenty-one thousand. Yeah, we'll give them another twenty-one. That'll bring them up to sixty-two. We'll give them another full bin worth. And, uh, we definitely grow more hay because we do uh, we do enough for the horses in one in one hay run we can fill up the horse paddock so uh, I feel like that does us pretty well it seems that we're just going to keep running with the horses we'll uh, we'll keep doing it. you know so there's upgrades I want to do but I just I don't think it's uh don't think it's the right time for them yet. So, anyway, appreciate you, uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, a little slow this time, you know, we just did some sale and got our horses going and whatnot. Um, I think I'm going to run this on a day or two and just try to make a whole bunch of extra money. And that way, when I bring y'all back, we'll get back into our expansion and kind of try to get back on track of uh, getting the mega farm going and see what else we can get doing and see what else we can get done. So, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, you know, drop me a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, good or bad. And uh, maybe think about clicking that subscribe button. Because I'd, you know, I'd love for you to run on down through the rest of the series with us. So, uh, we will uh, we'll see y'all after a while. And appreciate it.